of a storm was being put out by a group of anarchists. Some included Abram, Steimer, Lachowski, Schwartz, and Lippmann, and in 1918, that paper was succeeded by one called Freedom, whose motto was that government is best which governs not at all, which was taken from Henry David Thoreau. Over a dozen men and women worked on the paper Freedom, and a few of them lived communally in a six-room apartment on East 104th Street in New York, where they worked on the paper, held meetings, and arrived at many decisions collectively. Hey.
Look at these leaflets scattered all over our beautiful streets. <laughs> They're appealing for a general strike, condemning the policy of intervention in Russia, hated for capitalism and American-style democracy, and calling on the workers to fight back. Pure nonsense! <laughs>
get your papers right here.
but strong spiritually. Stronger than the iron bars and more powerful than the stone walls. The authorities might have tried to imprison the very idea of anarchism itself. Love, Jacob. <laughs> Farewell, comrades. When you appear before the court, I will be with you no longer. But struggle without fear. Fight bravely. I am sorry I have to leave you, but this is life itself. this 
justify passing a law against murder? In a just society where everyone has a chance to develop mentally and be able to enjoy life, crime would vanish. We would not need laws to punish, and we wouldn't need any courts. But at the present time, we need some laws. Because the system is wrong. Very well. Do you believe in polygamy, polyandry, <laughs> or free love? This has nothing to do with the trial. <laughs>